Hello, you're joining today to learn a little bit more about registering for a blood drive on your Volunteer Connection profile. When you log into Volunteer Connection, you are going to see this homepage. You're going to scroll over to My Shifts if this is your homepage view. If it is not your homepage view, you're, we're going to get to that about halfway through this session today. If this is your homepage view, you scroll over to My Shifts. You're going to scroll down until you see the bolded registration views pop up under your My Shifts section. Um, this will be determined by your local team, all the things that they use local shift tools for, but this registration view will always have a blood donor ambassador shift option for you to select. You're going to click into there and you will be taken to the blood donor ambassador shifts. What you will see is that you are immediately brought to a map view of all of the blood drives that are available in your area. If you do read through all this writing here, it does let you know that the blood drive opportunities that are showing for you are within a 30 mile radius of the zip code that you have on file with us under your volunteer profile. You're able to see 30 days worth of blood drives and that's a rolling system. So tomorrow, another day will be added in, et cetera so on and so on. So what you want to do from here is just decide how you want to view the blood drives. There are a few options for you. This map view is beautiful, but there are also opportunities to see a list view of the blood drives or a calendar view. So I'm just going to take a moment to, to hop in there and show you what those look like. So right now it's just taking some time to populate the, all the blood drives that are um, coming into the list view. So here you'll see um, it's showing October forward because we are close to that date. Um, every spot you see a dark blue tile on the date. Those are blood drives that are available. You do also see them written out here in list form. Any slot that you see listed as open um, is, an, is a blood drive that would be available for you to sign up for. Okay, so that's the list view. Also available is the calendar view. Um, it will always bring you to the month that we are in. And then you can use these arrows here to toggle to the following month in order to see the full picture of the next 30 days, just depending on where you're falling in the month. Um, so on the map, or excuse me, on the calendar view, you also see that there are dark blue tiles. Those are the ones that are available to be signed up for. So going back to the map view, um, my favorite view just helps me figure out where the blood drives are in relation to my home. Um, a couple other areas to point out for you. You can um, maximize these two areas so you can filter down to where uh, what you want to see. You can select the days that you are available. If you always know you're available a certain day or two of the week, you can um, filter by selecting those dates. Days of the week, excuse me. I'm always available on Mondays and Thursdays to help out. And I'm not available in the evenings on those days, but I am available in the mornings and the afternoons. Um, I do not really prefer to see the full shift, so I'm also going to um, mark that to hide those. Um, so now all that I'm left with is the blood drives that are available to be signed up for in the next 30 days within 30 miles of my home zip code. I'm going to just use this Zoom feature just to get a little bit closer, um, you know, in and see where the blood drives are in relation to my house. So I live in this area. I want to stay, you know, within um, a decent driving distance if I can. So I'm going to start digging into the open blood drives a little bit more. In order to do that, you're just going to click right on one of the pins that you're interested in. Once that pops up, it is going to show you a little bit more information, um, shows me the date and the time. Um, it does work for me, so I want to see a little bit more information. So I select that blood drive. I hit next. It's going to give me even more information on this um, pop up, which is the exact location, what type of blood drive it is, and if it's a high school drive or not. It also tells me the goal of the blood drive so I can um, see, you know, what the goal is for that day, how many blood donors we may be expecting to come through that drive. So from here, um, I can immediately register for that drive without entering a comment, but I may want to enter a comment in here. Um, so if this is going to be my first blood drive um, helping out, I may just want to enter that in. My first blood drive, looking forward to helping. Oh, 
putting that in there. This the note will go directly to the local rep in your area. So the local volunteer engagement representative that you work with will see that um, when they run a registrant report for all of the blood drives. If there is something very important that you want them to know, I de definitely recommend reaching out to them directly, either via text, phone call, or email, as some of those notes um, may get missed just in translation. They're not necessarily pinged that a new note came into the system. So anything vital, please use direct communication. But any little note you want to put in there is is nice. Um, so what you do notice from here is I signed up for that shift on the 28th. Now it popped right onto my home page. Um, so I can see all the blood drives that I may be signed up for in the future um, and you know, review the details of those if I need them. Um, so I'm on my way. I want to know the address. I'm going to open that up, use that address to uh, put in my GPS and find my way there. Also, this is an opportunity to um, to self cancel if something comes up. So I registered for this blood drive, but in the near future, I find out that I have an appointment that I need to be at on the 28th and I cannot get out of that. Um, so what I will need to do is get right back into the system. I'm going to open that blood drive back up right from this um, shift tool page. I see that I am registered for this blood drive. It lets me know, um, but what I can do here is cancel my registration on that drive. A good best practice is if you do need to cancel something that you have been scheduled for, especially if it is in a, within a close window of the time of the blood drive starting, please reach out directly to your local representative or your local scheduling lead in order to let them know that you can no longer make it. And when I say close window, really anything within about a seven day window is great best practice to reach out directly. Your local team may have some very specific instructions on that, but really good rule of thumb just to over communicate in times of doubt. So from the home page, as I mentioned before, that was one home page view. There is also another view of home page that you may have as your volunteer connection home page, and it may look like this. Um, just depending on the path you took into our application at the Red Cross, there's one of two views for home page. If this is what yours looks like, you are going to get to that same shift tool, um, but it's just going to come, come onto your screen a little bit differently. So from your home page, you're going to scroll down a bit. You're going to see your online orientation, your donor ambassador training video, and then you're going to see the tile to sign up for a shift right here. You're going to click that red bar, sign up for a shift, and again, it's going to take you right into that same view. So this is the same shift tool, that same map view, that same registration view. You're just getting into it um, from a different way on that shift on that home page of your volunteer connection profile. And that is how you register for a blood drive in the registration view in Volunteer Connection.